Hey everybody, welcome back to Anderson's TV. I am Pete. And I'm Lee, and these are the all new Gretsch Electromatic G5210s. Uh, that's a game. I've got the game changer uh, yes. pedal built into my If you've my not guitar. seen that video, uh, Game Changer oh. have made a big official Bigsby thing in a pedal. So yes, I yeah. wasn't being rude and just treading on Pete's guitar. It was a, it was well, a little it, joke. Or about somebody's that pedal. guitar. It's not mine. I um, wish this was mine because I absolutely love this guitar. Right. It's amazing. So, Gretsch Electromatic series. It's difficult to say. It's difficult to Easy to buy though. Um, Electromatic. <laughs> this is. A kind of a low to mid price range from Gretsch. So Streamliner from Gretsch kind of does the the, the most affordable stuff. Mm -hmm. Pro Series uh, comes out of Japan or America, custom shop stuff yep. as well. But Electromatic, I think, sits in that fantastic kind of mid priced, so far eastern made, but all the bells and whistles. You know, really, really beautifully Absolutely. made guitars. Um, so these are, these fan. aren't expensive, are these? What five or six hundred pounds? Something between there, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So two versions of this guitar is in many colours. The G5210 uh, is the two uh, P90E guitar with the hardtail. Yeah. And the G5210T. T. 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 Uh, T for tremolo, I guess. Um, four different colours. Yeah. And with a Bixby on it. Check this colour out, though. You thought it would be purple, it was an amethyst or something, but I absolutely love it. And I, it's. Every time we get to play the Gretsch, as when we're, I was talking to the guys from uh, from Gretsch, I love every time we play a Gretsch video because we don't do it very often, and they're always really, really good, man. Yeah. I mean, you know, haters will say oh, they're made in China. I'm not going to buy them, but don't just it's you just play them because they sound and play fantastically. So the, my... the key kind of deal with with um, the 5210 is it's a chambered body. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting actually. The the by the looks of things. I don't know if it's a colour thing or whether it's the ones with the trem systems on, but the, the two that we've got here with the trem systems, we've got the lighter brown stain and the ones without the trem systems oh, yeah, no, are the you, sort of darker brown stain. You, yeah. Whether that's colour specific, I'm not sure. There are other colours in the range. Um, P90s, <laughs> this is so weird as well. It's kind of amazing how we live for like, you know, 70 years of, you know, pickups looking a certain way and then all of, all of a sudden everybody decides that actually this idea of kind of like a cover like a chrome cover but with the top cut out so you can kind of see the plastic um bottoms on the guitar though. 
Has it? Though? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Been but around for ages. We just haven't seen it. Right. So you got some of them have got the white plastic showing through. Some have got yeah. the black plastic showing through. I think again, that's just a color thing. It's not a yeah. different pickup or anything. Um, I love this. The you've got this kind of interesting, uh, slightly chunkier wraparound tailpiece, but where the um, saddles are still adjustable, like they would be on a tunematic system, but just where there's not a separate tailpiece. Uh, obviously the Bigsby, that's the Bigsby with the little pins on it, so it's not a nightmare to restring. But one string at a time. Yeah, this is it's one not the easiest, is put it? Put your capper on here. When you take the strings, I'll put the capper on and make sure it's all tight, uh, so, so it's easier to get around the bend, as it were. Kind of got a thin U-shaped neck, I guess. Yeah, Gloss really finished, modern. obviously, so it's got a certain feel to it. But yeah, pretty pretty traditional um, feel to it. Uh, thumbnail inlays, my favorite Gretsch inlays, little thumbnails just over the side yeah. there. Um, yeah, it's just a beautiful guitar. Lo lovely little details on the, you know, taut guards on some models and stuff, but beautiful arch tops on these. Again, hard to really complain. A little locking. Um, on, you know, when the guitars are this kind of affordable. So Mr. Pete, yes, would Mr. you like Lee. to give us some tones? I would love to. With the Bigsby. Absolutely. Wow, Tay Tay has just corrected me. Um, this just if in. You, yeah, if you don't want the Bigsby on it, it's less than 500. So the, the regular hardtail one is 489. Uh, and it's incredible you, value in this. If you do want the Bigsby, it's uh, a buyer's market. That is 569. Well, wow. It's amazing. Anyway, here's some tones with no pedals at all. That is no pedals. Still wow. kind of a growly really sound. Yeah, yeah. So. I'm, I'm, I'm on the bridge pickup here, and again, you've got your master volume, you've got your uh, a volume for each pickup, and a tone. You've got it a volume is... for the Bigsby as well there. Apparently. Yeah, volume for the Bigsby. And... <laughs> it is kind of, it, that's kind a of in the way. A little bit in the way, isn't it? So that would be your, that's your neck pickup, but I think you just set it, and then you use this set one. I mean, I would just have it all up, full whack all the time, but that's just me, I like it full up all the time. Sounds good, doesn't it? It does. Can, I, of, uh, can so I just on. take a minute? Maybe we'll just put these up on screen at the moment to just glory in the magnificence of some of these colours. I mean, I've genuinely. Yeah, no, let me just let me just find the the tremolo ones now. You have got this stunning vintage white. Kind of looks like a bit of an ivory colour. Um, the oh, there's a there's a colour they just called petrol. I must admit, when I've spilt petrol on the forecourt before, it hasn't quite looked as green as this. But maybe that is what it looks like. Amethyst, obviously, to match Pete's eyes, and then uh, and then another. They get some great names. They they've named it after a shark. They just call it Mako, and that's the sort of bluey coloured one. It's is that great. Mako is not a shark. Is it? Is it the, the water's somewhere? Is it? I don't know. I thought a Mako was a shark. Okay, well, you know. Um, okay, oh, but I just want to hear this with the deco. I'm sorry. <laughs> position.
flint. Uh, oh, did you ever watch that? Um, reminded me of the theme tune to a, a, a series called True Blood, which is all about yeah, vampires yeah, yeah, yeah. and fairies. But and uh, it had a great kind of rootsy, swampy kind of theme rootsy, tune. Rootsy, swamp. I don't know who wrote that. I, I, I remember looking it up at the time and thinking, you know, I've not heard of him. But it's a good, good tune. There you go. That's the hollowness. Come in. Anyway, here's the Dane. <laughs> sound it wouldn't it's a great sound man given that these are single coil pickups and i know p90 always has a slightly different tone to a single coil it's very very fat isn't it it's very not, fat it's not remotely weak sounding but maybe that's because of that the chambered body could be yeah okay here is the one without the trem system uh in its neck position <laughs> Darker than I thought it would be. It's dark in my world. Let's try bridge. It's not, it really has a distinct lack of treble on here, and I've it's not mid, done anything it's a mid range, to my amp. Yeah, it's, it's a mid range, mid -range honk in it there. Is, isn't it? it is, it is. Oh, weirdly, on the middle position, it kind of gets it back. Is it a honk or is it a poke? I mean, what's the? Is it what is it? Is I think it's more. It's honky. a punk. I think it's more honky. <laughs> Ponky. That's what it is. Um, I'll put plonk. a little bit of overdrive on. Oh, not that much overdrive. Uh, I might have a bit more overdrive. I'm going to go sheriff for Marshall esque. <laughs> I think what's important sometimes about having a different guitars are guitars that have their own distinct voice, aren't they? Well, that's why we and, buy more, isn't it? That's I, why we want more. I guitars. kind of feel, in a way, more. this is doing one of the best examples of just a guitar that has its own kind of thing, you know? <laughs> It's Except quite... I can hear certain members of my family all going, they all sound the same yeah, to me. Absolutely. I like Sounds the sound great, of it. Man. It's interesting, actually, given that it's chambered, it's perhaps not as light as I thought it might be. Um, I mean, it's, no, it's not super it's heavy, very but... kind of like, I suppose, at the lighter end of what a Les Paul would be rather than yeah. substantially lighter than that. But I, I, I just think what massively goes in, in Gretsch's favour is that is their uniqueness. It looks Everything so cool. Everything from the, 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 the colours, the visual, the tone of it. Yeah. It's just, it sits in a little unique kind of pocket, doesn't it? Um, okay. I, I have to say, again, I... I I, I am regularly surprised with uh, how affordable Gretsch managed to get the I know. streamliner it's and electromatic stuff. Absolutely incredible. Ingretchable. Yep. yep. Ingretchable. Is wow, that a word? That's a, it's, it is now. It is now, that's um, for sure. Right, shall we... Uh, Wait, let's I'm jam gonna, out. I, let's I'm going to go over to a Bigsby. Um, oh, look at that colour. That's amazing. Wow. I love Gretsch colours. Yeah, they do make good colours. Yeah. They do make good colours. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching, people. Please like and subscribe. Yeah, and, links will uh, be below from where you can purchase these purchase, purchase these fine guitars. Uh, I believe they're in stock at Anderton's right now. Mm.